how would you characterize the? Uh, let's just pull off his microphone. Where's that supposed to go? It has to go right. It matches here. my shirt. I know. That makes it even better than just mm. not noticing. Okay. No, how, how would I you characterize the, the exhibit at the the new the new museum, the National Museum? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Do you think it was uh, a good representation? Of I think it's a very good representation of the first and maybe the second generation, but the weakness of it is that it has nothing at all about contemporary Haiti, the contemporary artists, the third generation, who are just as good as the first two. Where, where would you say is that dividing line between the, the first and second generation? With well, the transition of power from Papa Doc to Baby Doc, I would say. And that the, the second generation artists are most associated with, with what names? Uh, Philippe Auguste, Gerard Valsin, Andre Pierre, those are the three most important artists of the second generation. And they're represented in that show, but not very well. I mean, there's one painting of Andre Pierre, and they're about six or seven by Seneca, which is not, not a good proportion. And, and the third generation is not represented? Not at all, none of them. The names that, that you associate most um, uh, Predominantly, with the, the third generation, or most eminently with the, mer the third generation, would be who? Be La Fortune Felix, Gerard, Camille Rocher, Nassia Joseph, Pierre Augustin, Pierre Augustin, uh, Serge Jolimo. What does distinguishes them, aside from the, the, um, the time, see I won't, my voice won't be in this, what distinguishes them from, from the first and second generation? Well, nothing distinguishes them, they're equally original, they're not like anybody else except themselves, and that's true of the best artists of the first generation and the second. So that's all the more reason why should they be left out. They're left out because during the third generation there was a preponderance of commercial tourist art produced in Haiti because of its fame abroad and people wanting to come and buy anything in sight. People selling on the streets, very inferior productions. So a lot of people get the impression that in the third generation everything fell off. It's not true. It's just that the same number of good artists and many, many more bad artists. Are they, are they being subsumed or overwhelmed by the? Uh, I don't think they're affected the at all. They're not affected at all by their visibility. Because the great artists are not ever affected by what goes on around them in other arts. I mean, they just go their own way. 